Rhino 8 was recently announced, and so a new version of 3D Shoemaker has been released to work in it, version 8.0.0.1. In this 3D Shoemaker update, I'm going to cover the Rhino 8 updates that I think could be useful for shoemakers and designers. First, in case you're a new viewer, I'll briefly explain what Rhino and 3D Shoemaker are. Rhino, also known as Rhinoceros 3D, is a general purpose commercial CAD software that is great for precise yet free form modeling, which makes it very popular among shoe designers. Rhino has been around since 1998 and new versions are usually released every three or so years. 3D Shoemaker is a plugin that runs within Rhinoceros 3D. 3D Shoemaker allows for the fully parametric of design of shoe lasts and components and extends the usefulness of Rhino for shoe designers. I think the most useful Rhino 8 addition for footwear is advanced Sub-D functionality. Sub-D, a geometry type introduced in Rhino 7, is somewhat of a cross between mesh and NURBS geometry, offering the best of both worlds. It's commonly used for character design, but it is also really handy for shoe designers. In Rhino 8, new Sub-D tools have been added, such as variable creases. These are useful for technically challenging shoe lasts like ballerina and climbing shoe lasts, as well as creative toe boxes. Sub-D is also going to be very important for designing fully 3D printable soles and shoe bodies too. Going forward, 3D Shoemaker will continue to integrate with the Sub-D geometry type. Another new useful Rhino 8 feature is shrink wrap. It creates a watertight solid mesh around fragmented data which is very handy for reverse engineering shoe lasts and possibly other components. If you have 3D scans taken from various angles, you can orient them with the command orient3pt and then use shrink wrap to create a single shoe last mesh. Also in Rhino 8 are new capabilities relating to wrapping and unwrapping textures. These could prove useful for designing upper patterns. Beyond these new features, there is general improvement to Rhino across the board and lots of bug fixes. While the jump to Rhino 8 isn't as impressive as that from Rhino 6 to 7, it is still a worthy upgrade, and so all new versions of 3D Shoemaker developed will be strictly for Rhino 8. Older versions of 3D Shoemaker will of course continue to work in Rhino 7. Something to keep in mind when running 3D Shoemaker in Rhino 8 is that 3D Shoemaker is still based on .NET runtime, so it may be necessary to toggle this via the command set.NET runtime for things to run smoothly. If you do plan to upgrade to Rhino 8, now would be a good time as there is a considerable but temporary discount. That's all for this 3D Shoemaker update. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.